Shalom, la b'chayayim, shal yashala, peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Of course, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rechakodash. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rechakodash. Kol halayim la alahayin al Yahweh, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rechakodash. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well, Shinya Kabad la. Shalayach Yim Nawa was Kwan Yim Nawa Shalayach Shala. And of course, uh, Shalom Bakhasai, peace and mercy, La Bachayar Yim Shalayach Shala. Peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shemya Mafa, my name is Mafa, Mayan from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp located here. Baba Ball, place of all confusion, which is America. Coming again with another we lesson, my which is a little Lamadium or teaching or you know, learning the scriptures uh by moth in truth. You have here this folly, this madness which has been gone a bit. Uh which I mean I mean at this point It's you know I on the bars like I'm at a loss for words because when you think you've seen it all you see there's always something more to trump what's been already done which you have here this current fad of um, ice cream liquor all right that's what I call it it says cops ID or identify blue bell ice cream liquor won't press charges because she's a minor you have it here the actual uh there's a link to the actual video which um you know you can see uh wicked asha uh, rashai or asha rashai uh licking some ice cream in the store and putting it back which you know we'll uh play the video which i mean it's disgusting and you know go through that and go through possibly another article which perhaps states that this trend was started by a man and then it went viral and of course it spread like like wildfire and folly of course is held in great dignity and these two-thirds of the nation of israel consists of these so-called negroes latinos and the americans y'all follow after folly and foolishness all right so here we go right here in this uh See, I could try to possibly enlarge it. Lick, lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, you, you're a hoe. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking. The fucking. Ugh, man. The words I would use. The fucking shadium, the bloody shadium, or the, de the uh, shot or demon, which shadium just mean demons, but she, I'm gonna just say, ha, huh, shadium, the demon got a fucking septum in her nose, which just goes to show she's a beast, okay? That's what our people have came, became beasts, okay? Which that's uh, the main idea of this lesson to show who our people have become beast okay a beast would do something of that nature well really going by of course not using reason or any type of logic okay where you, you know you're you're going about licking ice cream in a store let me see and you got of course you got some wicked two third um of course, um, provo what do they call that? Like, uh, I forget the word for it's not provoke, isn't it? Provoke, but um, instigating it. <laughs> Which, uh, let me see what that word is right there instigating the definition. All right, instigate definition. Which means here, bring about or initiate an action or event. Okay? And this event, apparently, 
was began by by um actual a man by the name of Lenise Martin. That's what it's saying. Um, which I'm gonna search real quick. Or Khawash Za Ayash or this man. Which well it's saying this he's a copycat, so I mean you could go down to the rat we rabbit hole to see if you can find who originated this shape, but it doesn't matter because it's just wickedness, alright? It's folly. Alright. Um, I mean you can see I'm gonna go on the images and we just see a wicked I mean like I say a wicked detestable beast, okay? Which I mean this all speaks, you know, precepts uh you know come to my heed uh you know continually um concerning you know this you know this uh this look on this man countenance um let me see where's the scripture it speaks on that a man's gait tells what he is okay so you could tell by someone's you know their way their you know their look or what they are and such you have that most of our people are, are fucking clones all right are bloody fucking devils satan demonic okay because when you go into um the actual other article i had it it, it was saying all this other madness and such but I'm really not even going to it because it's just so detestable. I don't even care. All right, like. So uh, let me let me get a preset real quick. Pakwa, give me a, a wee moment as I find it. Yeah, this is the book of Sirach chapter, and the Prophet chapter nineteen and twenty nine. Karawa, it read, a man may be known by his look, and one that hath understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him. Alright, so, you know, you have it where a man is known by his look. You know? So, I look at this dude, I see a, a clown. I see a, 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 a damn demon. You know, and that's how, you know, us men of the Lord, we, uh, when we go about in our uh, travels and such, being uh, woken up like uh, Ayar, uh, Ayar alright, the light. Or ah yar, all right. Or awar, actually, slack you. Awar, which is, that's light in Hebrew. All right, when we wake up to the light in Yahweh Shai, the darkness in which we were in. All right, we, we look at and see through, of course, spiritual eyes, and, and can see all these demonic pos possessed people. You know. When we look at these people, how, how they carry themselves, we're like, man, this dude got demons on him. And it's easily, you could easily see it because these demons act things out in the spiritual, uh, in, a, in, a, in a, from the spiritual world, in the physical, carnal world, by, of course, these people whom they possess, all right? There's a multitude of demons on this man, okay, to be licking, I mean, like, you gonna go and lick the fucking ice cream, and it's not. It, you can see how demonic the lick even looks, and puts it back. You know, knowing you up to some fucking mischief. You know, nigga, look at the fucking nigga, man. But anyway, does I mean you could just, go, you know, uh, this is why I say surely oppressors make a wise man mad because this is supposed to be you dudes like this need to be destroyed. Simple as that. All right. Um, it says here in the scripture in, in the book of Second Edges, chapter five and eight. All right, which I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the actual scripture up in the, um on my actual screen. Let's get it five. And eight, which it reads here. It says there shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild peaches shall beasts 
shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, monsters, in which, you know, there is babal in all these pla many places, especially in America, being the place of all confusion. Okay, and it's going out. I mean, here you see a dude, a dude just goes into a shop, licks chalab, which that's ice cream in Baha Barath in Hebrew, in the Lashwan Kodash. And then that, of course, spreads like like a um, wildfire, like ash, all right? You know, ash, of course, are fire. It, it lights almost get lit on something, and then it just spreads quickly, or uh, mahar. Baha Baryath, which uh, that's mean quickly in the Hebrew. All right, yeah, quick and quickly. You got quick, which is uh, that's a uh, chawash. You got quickly mahar, and um, and it just brings about confusion because it's like you can be someone who wants to just enjoy some chalab, but then you're what you're subject onto. Obviously, it being defiled, okay, by the mouth of some or the hapa of some fucking devil, some nigger, all right, out there. And that's why Solomon said, um, <laughs> he said, he said, and um, that's uh, the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Right and um eight it says vanities of vanity said the preacher all is vanity. Alright. It was all fucking emptiness here and vanities. And us being the creature we're subject unto vanity. And this is some of the things that we are under the rule of. You know, having to, to of course experience wickedness such as this. Alright? Some some fucking uh uh man, Kalaba. I say Kalab Kalaba. Alright, which uh a female dog is a a female dog is what? You know the you know the word, alright? So Kalab in the Hebrew is is uh for dog. So Kalaba with the huh and the M makes it feminine, so Kalaba. Alright. You got them doing this wickedness. As a minor, they it says won't press charges. It, the blue, the cop side. Let me read the oh, actual article. It says the cold case gripping, gripping the nation, has finally been licked. Uh, I mean, this isn't funny at all. It says Texas cops on Friday said that they found the girl who licked a tub of tub of a uh, tip of uh, blue bear ice cream, and then put it back on the shelf. And she even confessed after being busted with her boyfriend who filmed her and. The, the video gone viral. So it's her boyfriend that filmed this fucking madness. Okay. And she confessed it. I mean, it doesn't care because why? You know, these people are looking for fame. Okay. To, be, to go viral. I and mean, that's what, you know, the, the whole stem of all this bullshit is. You know, for just going after some type of vainglory and such in this world. Okay. Which is esteemed of nothing. All right. Um, let me get a preset real quick. Uh, this is going to be the book of, um, we're going to go in Ecclesiasticus and the Prographer. Uh, I'm just going to bring out this one. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 25 and we'll do uh, verse 13. It says, give me any plague but the pl plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. I mean, and the wickedness of a woman, like I say, like it, I mean, end up going and, and, and give you uh, understanding on the 15th verse when they say there's no head heat or Ra'ash or la'a ra'ash. There is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. All right, and she's being a, a enemy, which is a, a, a yab. All right, an enemy. All right, to of course the whole world. 
okay? Because you don't know who going to eat that ice cream. Who going to pick up that fucking ice cream club and then eat it? And no, we knowing the hoarding of this woman, as you can see, as you can tell, you know, um, you know, you don't know what you're going to get from that. You know, this is how who diseases spread and stuff like that. And this just, just goes and show you blatantly who uh, people just don't care about and one another or nothing. All right. Especially a woman who lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay. It says in the scriptures that all wickedness in, in Sirach chapter 25 and, and um, 19 that all wickedness is but little wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. All right, so it's nothing, it's little, my eight, insignificant, okay? In the Hebrew, which is little, my eight, all right, little. Call, you got call it wickedness or rasha, call rashayim, all right? It's a but a little to the wickedness of a woman, all right? She'll lick her ice cream, laugh a bit, put it back, all right? And, and, and then get caught and then uh, confess to it. Outright, and it doesn't matter. She ain't gonna get any uh actual um punishment either. Okay, let's see what it says. It says the dairy detectives, and, and this is this is so funny. I mean, or is it, I ain't gonna say it's funny, but it's uh they think it's comical because you have the writer right in here. The dairy detectives outlined the intricacies of the intricacies of the case, saying that the catfisher. Had deliberately misled everyone and bragged about it on Instagram, slowing down them from getting the real inside scoop on who was behind the gross viral video. And as the girl, or Yolada, which says girl in Hebrew, Yolada's boy, they also seem to have thought on unlocking, unlocking her in a cooler despite previously warning she could have faced up to 20 years in jail along with fines up to ten thousand dollars it says we did not do not intend to pursue charges against her as an adult and therefore what happened from her is the discretion of the just juvenile justice system department said uh, not identifying a girl because of her age so you have it just and, and she actually is an age of an adult and of course the biblical uh, uh, under the biblical law uh, under under the scriptures okay um, you know you of course after you hit uh, puberty you're considered uh, an adult all right that's why you know you had yeah I was shy you know um, you know he went at 12 you know at the, at what the age of 12 or such Okay, he was in the temple and such. All right, he, a man becomes a man after puberty, which is that's around twelve. Woman after, of course, she gets her menstrual cycle. Okay, she's a she's able to bear seed or conce actually well conceive or take in seed. She's a she's a actual uh, adult then a woman. All right, she's no longer a girl or yalada. All right, but anyway. And that's if you can receive it, because many people don't want to receive it because they've been westernized. All right, going on, it says police said they believe the pair entered Walmart on late uh, the June 28th for the sixth stunt, and that has been viewed more than 11 million times. It says uh, Loop Police, or, Luf, or actually Lufkin poli Police, or Police in Fire, uh, uh, reckon it was a catfish. Whose screen name was on one letter different than the Wickers who bragged on Instagram. Yeah, I really did it. Or did that. It says they also say that they had to eliminate several other women before getting a real scoop of the suspect. Alright, and I mean, like I say, Esau makes a joke out of Yasha Allah, um, you know, Israel, okay? Yeah, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. All right, that's why we are what you know, a laughing stock, you know, to these uh, you know, these nations. Cause look what the, uh, look what the two thirds do. All right, look what the two thirds do. Licking ice cream and just for fame, 
Okay, and then it catches on. And now it's an ice cream. I thought it's an ice cream challenge. Fuck it, man. Um, let's see. We'll get some scriptures. Uh, let me see. Uh, because we spoke about how we are nothing but uh, a laughing stock. You know, we are gazing stock or a laughing stock. Cities, uh, these heathen out here. And this is why, of course, these, you know, these other nations look at Yashala the way they do. I mean, when you see stuff like this, you know, happening. I mean, I, I would laugh at your goofy ass too, you know. But, this is, uh, or look at you as a detestable, you know, when you, you're doing stupid shit like this. All right, so let me uh, find the precept. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to get this. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 44 and 14. It says, Thou makest us a byword. Let me see. I'm going to start. I'm going to start up above 13 Psalms. It says, Thou, thou makest us a reproach. Right, which reproaches dealing with shame to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. All right, it says, Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of heat of the head among the people. It says, My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face have covered me. You know, so you I mean you have it where just look at the you know and being being subject to this this wickedness. All right, you can see why you know uh, we are a, a byword. You know, uh, you know where you know we're taunt we're called by these stupid name, stupid names, niggas, spicks, wetbacks, and all these different things. I could call this girl a fucking liquor. A liquor bitch or some shit, you know, a liquor, you know, <laughs> long tongue, you know, or some some anything, you know. But we we're given these bywords. Thou make us a byword among the heat and a shaking of heat among the people, and that proves we're Israel because we're the only people on the earth where you can where all other nations, as enemies, look upon us with disdain and and um. As a laughing stock, a, a gaze to, and that's the curses, you know. Which you, you know, when you read in, um, you know, the book of Deuteronomy, it goes in more on. Okay, all right. I thought I'm gonna go into this other scripture, and then I'm gonna get another scripture. Generate plant might be in Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah 2 and 21. Korah, why? Read. Yet, yeah, it's, uh. Yeah, it says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. Okay? Which you have that right. Let's see, it's Yashar, is a rye. Let's see what we got here. We got Zarai. And you have right, they got a moth, which that means a true seed, okay? A moth, like mah, I bariath shem, all right? Or shem, uh, or shem, ya, all right? All right, my, my name in the Hebrew, all right, is a moth, all right, which means truth. So it says a holy right, a true seed, okay? You got the word noble, sh 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 Shirak, all right, Shirak, which is the choice species of the of the vine. The choicest, you know, you're dealing with the riches and variety, the best. You know, you're going with the uh, choices, you're going into the best, all right, which is, uh, I did a wee lesson on that going into, uh, you know, Kalab, you know, like, the, um, like milk, all right, it also means best okay like the cream of the crop all right the best okay like you said the, the, the land of 
of milk and honey. Okay. You're in abundance. Okay. The best. Okay. So it says, yeah, I have planted thee a noble vine, a holy and right seed. All right. A moth. All right. Uh, Zerai, it says, or Zerai of Moth, it says, Who then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Which are people basically are, they, they've gone in the way of Gentiles, thus being Gentiles, okay? Far and away from their heritage, okay? They, of course, are walking after the ways of the heathen, all right? Thus, that's what, why. They're counting as, uh, in the scriptures, they have became Gentiles, all right? It's like foreigners. Because when you see somebody looking, doing some fucking wickedness as this, it's something likened onto a heathen, all right? Hagawayam, the heathen, the nations outside of Israel. Okay, a degenerate plant. You got Sawar Baha Barya, Sawar which it means here, uh, let me see, deteriorated, right, turned off, or deteriorated, all right, and I'm definitely, definitely turned off when I see this fucking madness, okay, it says degenerate, Deter when you, when you, um, it says, uh, even, this is even, this is great, to exile, be expelled, all right. Or it says, "Those who are removed from me, who have departed." All right. Which, what we have, uh, what we all, what we all, um, we we have it where we um fell as a nation. Okay. We um, we uh, we we lost our heritage. What's that, Jeremiah? Uh, is that seventeen and four? Which speaks of how we, uh, it says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land with thou, which thou knowest not. For ye, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So, you know, this discontinuing, all right, which we'll go into that in the Hebrew. You know, uh, the word discontinue, which you have shemat, shemat baha bariath. Shemat means to release. They got let drop or loose. Thus, you mo mofos, you know, us as a nation became what. We became what? Uh, wild beasts, you know? We're as the heathen are, okay? Which are counting as nothing but a, a drop, less than a dust, what is it? Less than vanity? You know, it says that uh, in Isaiah 40, and also through the, the other scriptures and such, um, let me see if I can find it again. Yeah, Isaiah 40 and 15. It says here, Behold the nations, all right, which the nations, which is the Gawayim, all right. Huh? You got uh, here, you got Gawayim, Gawayim, all right. It says the nations... Behold, the nations are a drop of a bucket, and they are counted as a small dust of the balance. And that's nothing. You didn't, you ain't even um, you ain't even um, like you ain't got you ain't kabai, you ain't heavy, you ain't got no weight. You're you're insignificant, mate. It says, behold, he taketh up the aisles as every, as a very big little uh, it's like he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. All right. It says in Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient of a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, 
and they are counted to him as less than nothing in vanity. All right. So if the nation is less than nothing, th that's why it goes into fulfill with the action of this chick being a Kalaba. All right. A female dog shall be counted as a, as a what? I mean, it says that a a wicked woman, a wicked, a shameless woman. Let me just get the scripture. It says in Sirach chapter twenty six, and um, it said twenty twenty six and twenty five. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shameless face will feel the fear the Lord. All right, so I can understand why. You ain't counting as nothing, all right? Getting understanding precept upon precept, all right? Because if the heathen ain't nothing, and you being as a heathen, and you it, double being a, 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 a fucking a bloody calabra, all right? You really don't matter, <laughs> you know? So, uh, let me just uh, go into this next precept, which, uh, you know, the spirit the Lord showed me, just flipping through my. Sapar or Sapar, yeah, my Bible or my book, which uh, it was, uh, I believe it was Ezekiel chapter 22. Let me see if I can find it. In 18, it says, Son of man, the house of Israel, that's all the 12 tribes, is become, it, or is, is, it's like, let me read it again. Ezekiel, or. I believe Ezekiel in Hebrews Chazak Allah It says uh, Son of man 22 and 18 It says Son of man The house of Israel Is to me Become dross All they are brass And tin And iron And lead In the midst of the furnace They are even The dross Of silver Let's go into What it is to be dross And you have these Inferior Metals, all right, such as brass and tin. Okay, let's go to that word for dross, which you got sayag, sayag, baya, baha, barya, then lashman kodash, dross, in a sense of refuse. Okay, we can go into this in the regular. Let me see, uh, I'm gonna look it up in just a regular. Like uh, maybe a Google search. Draw something regarded as worthless, rubbish. Okay, so you're nothing. Okay, man, that's kabod. Or kabod wa, it's heavy. Heavy, you know you would. This is crazy. All right, let's go back. See, I gotta find the tab. <laughs> All right, so Gog. All right. All right, so we have here nothing insignificant. Okay, so. Going back, all right, it says here again, it says, Son of man, the host of Israel has become to me, has yeah, Israel is to me become dross, all right, which is rubbish, all right, worthless, basically. It says, All they are brass, which that's these two thirds and such, okay. Because we, of course, that are coming back to, of course, our heritage. How about Shemuel Shai? Um, he's making us more precious than fine gold. All right. And the Lord's going to, of course, purify these uh, daughters of Zion. Okay. From their wickedness. Okay. Just so that you know, and I'll get that precept in, uh, uh, and, and, and bring that off. And end it off, Slakia. Or Khatkwatza, Slakia. Or end it. Alright, so uh, it says here. All they are brass and tin, iron and lead. In the midst of the furnace, they are even draw the dross of silver. 
it said it says therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh because ye are all become dross behold therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem into Jerusalem all right Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will I gather you in my anger and my fury and I will leave you there and melt you yeah I will gather you and blow upon you the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I Yahweh have poured out my fury upon you all right, so you know the Lord basically gonna burn you up, destroy you. That's that's of course, you know uh, you can liken that to the nuclear fire, as well as the Lord has punished us through all of these captivities. Let's go to the um, last scripture, which uh, I'll bring out Isaiah chapter four, or actually it might be actually Isaiah five. Or Yeshia 5. <sighs> four, five was it? Is it? It's either 4 and 4 or 5. And, let me see. Where is it at? It should, it basically, it says I should wash away the filth of the daughters of Zion. Or something like that. Uh, let me find it in my physical scriptures. That's why we, of course, repeat these things repeatedly. So I'm just going to type it in And it'll come up Okay, so yeah, Isaiah 4 and 4, and that's due to spirit. That's why the flesh is weak, all right? How Bashar is weak, man. All right. It says, when the Lord. All right, I'm I'm going uh, to start actually at verse 4 and 2. It says, and in that day shall a branch. Of Yahweh be beautiful, all right, and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely, Yapa, right? Beautiful for them that are escaped of Israel, the elect. It says, And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Tazayawan, in which is the Lord's remembrance mountain, or well, Tazayawan, which is memorial actually, Slakia, all right. It says, And he that Remaineth in Jerusalem and Jerusalem shall be called holy, Quadash, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. All right. It says, and the Yahweh will create upon every dwelling a place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies a cloud of smoke by day, and a shining of fire, which is going into a, a chariot uh, by night, or what they call an identified, unidentified phenomenon. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. So, you know, at our tabernacles, we'll have chariots, okay, going to it. All right. So, you know, you know, the Lord is going to wash away the filth of the daughters of Zion, okay? It's going to come by judgment, okay? Mashapatim. Yahweh is Mashapatim. All right? Yahweh Shemiel Shai. So, 
And I basically uh, I got one last Actually I got one last scripture It's uh it's actually, um, and I, for, I, I don't want to forget this one, which was your pa. Um, it was in Ecclesiastes, it's either 9, at the top. Alright, let's see if, it, I think this is it. Let's see, I gotta just make sure I go and check. Yeah, I believe it's it. I'm going to start at the top. Ecclesiastes in the uh, Bible, chapter 9 and 1, it says, For all the, this I consider in my heart, even to declare all. And this is Solomon, the wisest man, okay? Which was Yahweh Shai, if you can receive it, in one of his reincarnations. It says um, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of the power, the Most High. And no man knoweth... Either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and one to the wicked. And to the wicked, Slakia, to the good and to the clean and to the unclean, him to him, Slakia, that sacrifice sith and to him that sacrificeth not. As it is the good, so is the sinner. And he that sweareth as he that feareth an oath. Verse 3. This is an evil. Or this is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. That there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil. So the minds of men is full of evil. And madness, alright, is in their heart while they live. And after that they go to the deed, all right, to the dead, all right, to the grave, all right, Shawal. Okay, you live, you die, you come back, you receive your judgment, okay, on earth, if you can understand that, which is another lesson, all right. Which they say, then go after it says, which in the Hebrew, it says, and after a char, right, or uh, yeah, a char, which is after. It says the uh Mawath. Yeah, the death, that's it. It's like you. I thought I seen something else, but it's like you. Alright, so I mean that's basically it. You know, the sons of men alright, the it says the hearts of the son of men is full of evil. Alright, so you know, you can see you know, chick licking the ice cream out of a a, a a container and such as you seen. You know, in the wee video, that's nothing. Okay. The chick licking this ice cream just like that, all nasty. And putting it back and laughing and laughing at it. Alright, so with that, I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Bashima, Shabashim, Kaka Dash. Double line sales, apostles at Great Millstone. Hope you're edified. Till the next time, Shalom to the elect.